What's going on guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing. And today we got special employee P. Brad from FHQ. Nah, but but we got Alec. What up? And you guys, he smoked a nice coop. Of course you didn't have the camera rolling. Of course I didn't have the camera on. Nah, it was nighttime and we weren't filming, but we're going to do a clean and cook and then hopefully a jaw mount. You guys are going to see that. But check out those teeth. Look at those teeth. They are gnarly. He needs to see I a think, dentist. I think they're gnarlier than a barracuda's teeth. Wow. But they'll break through 100 pounds all day, which they do. But we came over to Fishing Headquarters, local tackle shop in Jupiter. If you guys need a new tackle shop to come to or are looking to get gear or whatnot, come over here, Fishing Headquarters in Jupiter. Right on A1A here. They'll hook you guys up. If you guys need to weigh a fish and you guys don't have a scale, Come over here to fishing headquarters. Patrick over here, any of the employees working, Pete and Tommy, two best bosses in the world, they'll help you out. Certi certified, certified boga here. 50 pound? 50, it's not gonna be 50 pounds, though. No, boga. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, all right, let's, he let's hear estimate, estimate weights here. What do you got, Alec? 12. Pat? How big do you think he's going to be? Nine pounds. Patrick says nine pounds. Alex says 12. I say 13. 12 on the dot. It's right on 12. He's right on 12, boys. Wow, Alex called that. Look at him. The yeah, elusive Chubera. Yeah, we're going to take, gonna take the jaw out. That's pretty heavy for a 28 inch Chubera. Yeah, use 20 inches. He slot. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and throw this fish back on ice and then we'll see you guys at the flay table. Alright guys, just made it to the flay table and we got Alex beautiful Kubera snapper there. 12 pounder. He honestly feels heavier than that, doesn't he dude? Yeah, I thought he was like gonna be 13 or so. I thought he was gonna be like 13, 14, but I'm using three knives today. All Dexter all Dexter knives, you know me. Um, I'm gonna start off with a six inch. Make that first cut. Right behind, and 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 Kuberas have such thick scales, they're almost like tarpon scales, as you can see right there. So you really need a good sharp knife to get through them. That's why you gotta have a Dexter. You guys can save 20% off on all Dexter knives. I'll have a code link below, Adam20. Check it out. Just just like any other fish, follow all the way down. And Kubera snapper, one of the sickest fish in my opinion. I mean. I don't know. They're, I Apex think, predators. yeah, dude, they're epic. I think they're my favorite snapper. Even though I love muttons, I mean, they'd rip a mutton in half, bro. They'd eat a they'd eat a mutton for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. <laughs> That's a snack for them, bro. These things are scary, dude. You you'll see. Have you ever seen the ones Look in the Bahamas? That meat. The meat's absolutely beautiful. White. Have you ever seen the ones in the Bahamas, dude? No. They're like 80, 100 pounders. They look like they'll eat you. With their fangs hanging out. They're scary. You mean mugging? Go all the way dude, through the other side. Nice. Yeah, dude. It's a, my opinion, it's, a, my, it's the best snapper I've ever had. And then you skin them after. Yeah, this Dexter's just gliding right through them. Just like that, boys. Beautiful Kubera snapper fillet. Would you look at that? Barely missed any meat, and we got plenty. That's not a problem. We're gonna go ahead. We got the meats. We got the meats, boys. We got Arby's. I'm gonna use a little bit of a longer blade here to go ahead and skin this fish because it is a thicker piece of meat. Start right at the base right here. And just work my way. And they got such thick skin, it's really, it's really gonna be hard for you to go through them. If you do, you need to get some moving weight fillet practice. Right, Alec? Oh yeah. And I just keep going all the way through. Just angling that knife down until you get to the back side. Wow. Look at that, dude. Beautiful Kubera filet. Got the skin. Eat. Cats are going to be stoked. Rat monsters. Dude, look at the scales. They're, They're like giant. Scales. They literally are. They're giant. Um, we're going to go ahead and clean up the other side of this, and then we're going to show you how we're going to get the jaw out. We'll see you guys then. All right, guys. We knocked the sides off of this Kubera. One side, two side, beautiful flays. 
and I, I'm super stoked to do a jaw mount for Alec here. I've never done it before, neither of us have, so it's gonna be our first time, so bear with us, okay? From what I watched, I saw a video. You're gonna wanna come inside here, and I got a super thick knife here. It's like a tuna knife. Oh yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be the knife to do it. And you're just gonna wanna cut the neck. That might be the move. Yeah. So you start it with the knife, I guess, boys, and then you gotta rip. Viewer discretion advice. Yeah, major viewer discretion advice here. A little turn and twist. That's it. Boys, look at that thing. Yo. Yo. Yeet. We're gonna go ahead and here's what we got left of the fish. Here's where we need the freaking. Dude, it looks like a weapon now. <laughs> Take your hand in there. Right, right. No, ready? Um. Dude, their gill plates are mean. Whoa. I've never seen that in a gill They're plate. They're like teeth. Have you? No. These things are the gnarliest snappers and creatures in general. Dude, They're those are full story. teeth. Look. Wow. What the heck? That's insane. Just trying to take as much off the, the jaw as I can or the head so we don't, don't have so much to work with. Yeah. That worked out better than I thought. Yeah, it came out nice. Here's, whoa, we don't want to lose that. Here's what we're left with, boys. Got the gnarliest teeth in the ocean. And a cleaned out head with some car guy. All right, we're gonna go and see what's inside this guy's stomach. As of right now, I will not. I, I, yeah, dude, I don't feel much. Oh, there's something in there. There is something in there. It's a baby sea turtle, Jay. It's a wheel. Oh, it smells horrible. Huh. Lobster? That'd be epic, but I don't think so. It's that crab, dude. Oh, dude, look at those spines. That's another fish, right? Yeah, I, dude, I don't know what that is. Seriously. It's so. a crab. Oh. <gasps> oh, there's a hook. Somebody got smoked. Somebody got roped. Yo, that's Jay's Moodoo Light. Is it? It looks like it, doesn't it? He's, he's no, not he fishing be, straight braid. No. So, someone lost this thing, fishing straight braid. Huh. Someone's a little, con someone's a little confused a, if you lost a Kubera at Sebastian Inlet. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, as you can tell, we are back in the kitchen now. And I know this video is all over the place. We were just at the filet table doing the jaw. And now we're cooking. So, here's what we got, boys. We got the beautiful big chunky Kubera snapper fillets. So my mom whipped up a little dish. So we got four tablespoons of butter, minced garlic, a couple uh, drops of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, and a little bit of that panko seasoning, some Parmesan, a little bit of salt, a little bit of Old Bay, and it looks absolutely delicious. Don't forget, beautiful parsley there, but look at that, unreal. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven. We're gonna bake that at 400 degrees for about, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna check on it, see you guys then. All right, boys, this looks absolutely beautiful. Shout out to my mom for cooking it up for us. Um, Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Dude, oh, it's just falling apart right there. Kubera snapper, best snapper you'll ever eat. Look at that, it's about to be lights out. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Excellent. That's so good, dude. And moist, you have no idea. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That is unreal. That's literally the best fish I've ever had. Mm. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Mmm. Wow. That's the moistest fish you've ever cooked. And then some roasted carrots. You know her. Wow. 
And then you can't forget not fresh cooked tomato. Love myself one of those. Mmm. This is so good. Dad, what do you think about it? Mmm. It's incredible. It's the best snapper I've ever had. I'm not kidding. It is. I'm not kidding. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna go ahead. Why are you smoking my coo? You had that. You had a thick piece. So I gotta taste it. Yo. Mmm. Wow. What's the verdict? The verdict is guilty of excellent fish. Yo. Smoke my coo. Alrighty, so we got. Ooh. I'm gonna give that the blood juice over the Cabrera snapper head there. Dad, I got you dinner. So we're just gonna lay it on a little bit of parchment paper. And we've been preheating the oven for about 30 minutes now. It's on 450, we're gonna leave in there for about 30 minutes or so. And we're gonna see how this comes out. Dad, what do you think? Suspect. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> Look how weird that looks going in our oven. <laughs> weird. Anyways, I was really on edge about how I wanted to do this. I got multiple different recommendations from Pete over at Fish and Egg Wars. Pete said sometimes they do it with uh, deer heads. They'll do the leave it in an ant pile for a week and let the ants eat at it. But then you have rodents coming in your backyard trying to grab it. And I knew that was going to be a long process. And then you can either boil it. Um, we ended up just baking it. I watched a couple of YouTube videos. You know me. Alrighty guys, it has been 30 minutes on 450 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and turn, where the heck is the off button? Turn the oven off. Grab me some mitters. Pull this Johnson out. What do you think it's gonna look like, Johnson? I think it's going to look like a Kubera head. I it's think so. baked for a half hour at 450. I think so too. I was right. Look at that. Look at that. I'm real. It smells good, doesn't it? Well, let's not let it go to waste. Let's eat whatever we can. Can you I'm eat the have, eyes? I'm going to have to pass. All right, so now we're going to let it sit for a few minutes, let it cool down, and I guess we're going to go ahead and break the meat off. All right, so what me and Pops just did is. Just took some forks and literally worked apart that meat and it came off super easy. As you can tell, there's all, look at all that. That's all edible meat and we already had square for dinner, so I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna mess with that, but this is what's left. You got the jaws, the teeth, and then, this is a spine, correct, Dad? And I don't, I'm either gonna hit that with a hammer or something to break it, but for now, we can't really work with it. It's extremely hot. I'm just, this is my idea. I've never seen anyone do this, okay? I'm just gonna put it in a in a little basket or a bucket, fill it with some cold water, let that cool down, and then it'll be easier to work with. All right, I literally just put it in that water, cooled off right away, and the first piece just came off, boys. Look at that. That's a bad bottom jaw there. And then we got, you know, recreational top half here. I don't want to break it. came together a lot better than I expected, didn't it? Oh, did I break it in the middle? I might have broke it. It's okay, super glue that all. Now, how is my question is, how do we get the rest? Peroxide. All right, so here's what we got. We got the bottom. We got the bottom jaw that came out really good there. And then I'm pretty sure these pieces are supposed to break off. I'm almost positive they are. And if they're not, I guess we're gonna find out later. But I know you're supposed to super glue them. So I'm gonna put all this into a bowl, pour peroxide over it. And then we're gonna scrub it tomorrow morning. But overnight, we're just gonna let it sit and soak in the peroxide. So with that being said, we will see you guys in the morning. The process is coming out nice so far. All right, so I don't know what the last clip you guys saw was of the jaw, but it has been simmering in just regular dish soap for about, well, I would you say that an hour on the stove here. 
Very low heat esque. So it's looking real good. Is that hot? That is indeed hot. We're gonna do some drainage here. Hold on. All right. Here's what here's what it kind of looks like. Get you guys an idea. It's looking good. What do you think, Dad? It is yeah, looking I think, good. I think it's looking good. So we still got some pieces, as you can see, of the skin that that will deteriorate and come off. Let me see that again. It's looking good. But we want to get every piece of meat, every piece of everything. Otherwise, it will stink. Every little piece of cartilage that I can feel on there still. So, we're going to put... We got a lot of pieces. Huh? hope I'm doing this right here. What do you think, Dad? Am I doing this right? Uh, I can tell that you're not, but just keep going. I appreciate your moral support. We got... Crystal Clear Peroxide, 30% volume. From my dad's salon, you know me. So, we're going to fill that Johnson up. Yeah, don't splash that on, on anything. Uh, you promise? Yeah, I promise. Alrighty, boys. I got my gloves on because that peroxide, it's not regular peroxide. That is, that's what, for that hair quality stuff? It's regular peroxide. You're lying. You're just assisting. 30%, whatever. That really hurt my hands. I got a lot of cuts from fishing. I don't care what you say. So I'm just gonna take a little toothbrush here and scrub, try and get all that meat off. It's a lot, this is a lot longer process than I thought it was gonna be, boys. Can't lie, I'm not gonna do this again. But you know me. Trying to pick away at the meat. Just scrub, I got all the teeth. You wanna make sure you scrub in the teeth. So you're brushing the teeth. Do you want some um, toothpaste? Floss? I mean, I don't need floss, but if you give me some toothpaste, that'd be nice. Please. No, I'm just kidding. But you want to get in between the teeth. You don't want to leave any meat. If you do, boys. Yeah, don't leave any tartar on there. If you leave any any meat, no, seriously. If you leave any meat, it's just gonna smell gross. And you're not gonna want to have that in the house, All right? Just scrub away, and then. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub all these pieces and then we will see you guys when they're cleaned up. All right, boys, so we got, we got it soaking now after I just brushed all of it. We got it soaking in the peroxide and a little bit of soap. I think this is gonna come out nice. Like I said, this is my own method. I kind of just watched a couple YouTube videos and then just made some, up, made some stuff up as I was going. I don't really know what I'm doing for my first time doing it, but so far, everything's coming together. I just hope I didn't break any pieces. Like some pieces came apart, but that could have just been cartilage holding them together, some of the jaw pieces. But I guess we'll find out when I go to glue it, so. All right guys, everything's all dried out and it is the final stage. We're gluing it now. And huge shout out to my dad. He's helped me out do it. Shout out to Johnson. He's really good with tedious stuff like this and he's, good, he's just good working with the hands. And I've never done it before, neither has he, but I'm gonna let him do it. All we're doing is super gluing it together. All right, so first step we got here, boys. We're gluing that that Gilray piece. That try not here. try not to block my light. Sorry. Coming from up top there. Stick you are blocking my light right now. Sorry. I'm gonna fit it perfectly in there. I I do more super glue than that. It was very light. I, we'll load up afterwards. I gotta get something to hold it together. Now I'm gonna, if, are we, is this staying this way? It's staying that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some reinforcement in here. You wanna really get the super glue in there, boys. Make sure it's not coming apart. A little over here. Let that dry a little bit. So we're doing one piece at a time and then we're trying to let it dry. A little bit of being up for Trying to let it dry and uh, what? What are you laughing at? And then we'll just keep working our way one piece at a time until we finish the puzzle. Alrighty boys, we are almost done. We have finished all four, or how many parts do we have, Dad? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in total, but now they're in four because we combined each one. This is what it's looking like. Now we just gotta glue the end pieces together and she's gonna be looking pretty. What you think, Dad? I'll let you know after I get Such two sides uh, connected. Boy, that looking pretty. Now all we gotta do is glue the bottom. Two pieces and then glue the top and bottom together. We are done. Look how sick that looks, that's crazy. So what Johnson's doing right now is he's measuring the length, how far the two, uh, what are these, Dad? Do you know these two pieces here? What's the back of his jaw? Yeah, the back of his jaw, how, how, up, how up far up they are apart? Were they six inches? No, they're, I didn't measure them in inches. I measured them in millimeters. The reason we're measuring them is so we can line them up perfect with the, that is the top side of his jaw. This should be the bottom. Eight centimeters. Millimeters. Millimeters. They're centimeters, no? Millimeters, okay, centimeters. It's all the same. All the same out here in the sediments cut. Alrighty, guys. I don't think you saw the last part because my dad took it to his work and ended up finishing it this morning. I didn't get to film it. But huge shout out to Johnson. He did a really great job working on this thing. Helped me out a lot. And it was a learning experience for, it, for us both. It was our first time doing it. And here's how it came out. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, that top, the top of his mouth is just mean, those teeth. I broke this one when I was cleaning it, but like I said, it was a learning experience. It still came out awesome. So this video was definitely different from all my other videos. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comment section below. I, I could do more stuff like this, you know? Not every single video has to be me, me killing 100 fish, although that's my favorite thing to do, but like to switch it up for the used tubes. Just let me just let me know what you guys think. Also, you guys want to check out my Instagram? I got almost I'm at like 3,600 followers. Let's get me to 4,000 followers, all right, boys? After this video, let's do, can you do that for me? I'll have the Instagram, my Instagram popping over here and in the description below. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. We got some new content coming soon with the mullet run starting to push its way here. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. And with that being said, until next time, Moonlight's out.